What can fans look forward to in this film in terms of the story and the journey that the uh, Boas go on? Uh, I think that it's a great place to start this film. You get to see what it's like in the real world and what everybody's doing with their lives and how not everybody is creatively fulfilled and um, just what it means to come back with your core friends and do something that you really love doing. And that's always, like, you're always going to have them and you're always going to have the support that you need from your friends. And, and just, you know, we go all over the world and get into crazy hijinks as per usual. And it's super funny and there's a lot of great songs and dances. Yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, all of that. I know if you want to try. <laughs> no, no. It's, and that, yeah, the same movie. <laughs> well, it's been uh, it's been so fun to watch your characters though uh, progress over each of the films. How do you think your individual characters have evolved, um, or have they have they evolved? Chloe took a long time to wrap her head around the fact of change in general or of evolution, um, and I think that she really has such a big arc over the past three films because she goes from really just wanting to be passionate about these girls and this and this group and not really letting go of that ideal that you can always have this you know kind of safety net of, of friends behind you to to really learning how to let go and and becoming her own person and and um yeah so i think aubrey um has changed a lot, thank goodness. I think she was really uptight, obviously, in the first movie. And at the end of the first film, you see her finally, like, metaphorically and literally, like, let her hair down. Um, and I think in by the time we get to the third movie, she's much more fun to hang out with, hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah. And what was it like for you guys to come back uh, to set and to be together again as a cast, uh, as the Bellas? It's always so much fun. I mean, these are our really close friends. We choose to hang out with each other mm -hmm. when we're not shooting, and we go on vacations together, and so <laughs> uh, it's always fun because you get to wake up and go to work with your best friends. You get to go home and knock on their door. Mm -hmm. We all lived at the kind of the same apartment building, which was really cool. It was a very real-world vibe. Yeah. And, um, it, was, it was just so much fun to be able to know that every day something was going to make you laugh, and mm -hmm. you were going to have a good time. And you brought on uh, the talented Trish C2 to direct. What was it like working with her? She is so good. I mean, I think she's super funny. Uh, she gets all of us. She gets the sense of humor really, really well. Uh, she was great. She let us go. You know, she would, like, not call cut and, like, let it all, like, happen and, and all these, like, funny gems that are, like, all in the movie. That's because Trish, you know, let us play and let us have fun and encouraged that kind of supportive, funny environment. Um, and she also, like, directed the Step Up movies, so she's, like, knows the dances. She knows how to shoot choreography. And I think she was great, awesome to work with. Do you guys have a favorite uh, musical number in, in this film? I think we both yeah. love Toxic yeah, because was it was a really fun sure. uh, dance number to learn but also to do and um, and getting to sing like Britney Spears is always kind of yeah. fun. Yeah. And I love that song like before we even like knew we were singing it so.